Okay, so in this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Calibra conversion utility, which you're looking at here, to convert PDF documents to EPUB format, which is compatible with iTunes and now with iPads and iPhones and iPod Touches. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to the Calibra dash ebook.com website and download Calibra. It's free. Uh, it is available for Windows, also for Macintosh and Linux. Um, I'm working for with Windows here and I've already downloaded it and installed it. And the first time you launch it, there will be a few setup questions it's going to ask you, such as where you want to store or save your ebooks and so forth. And for most of that, you can accept the default options. Um, but there is one option that you do want to select, and that's when it asks you to choose your ebook reader. And for our purposes, we want to select Apple. And this image is a little bit outdated here, but when you select Apple in the left uh, pane, it's going to show you iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch under Devices, and then you just want to click Continue. So after you've done your one time setup, um, now we're going to convert a PDF document to an EPUB book. And there's essentially three steps. It's going to be add a book, edit the metadata, and then convert the book. So first of all, we want to add a book, and we're going to browse to a PDF document that we want to convert. Click Open. And it's going to import that PDF document into Calibra. And it will probably appear here at the top of your list, so you want to select it and then use the drop-down arrow beside Edit Metadata and select Download Metadata and Covers. And this will go out and look for um, covers or any additional information for your PDF document. If it can find it, it's going to add it to your document. In this case, it didn't find anything, and that's OK. So we're going to click OK. And then still make sure that your book is selected. And then the last step is to use the drop down arrow beside Convert Books and select Convert Individually. And then it allows you to uh, check over everything and make sure it's exactly the way you want it. Um, for example, you could change the cover image here if you have a particular image you want to use. Or you can change the title, which I'll do here. This is a commentary on the book of Haggai. Um, and you could select the way you want, uh, or you could select an author from the list and how you want it to appear and so forth. All right, so when you're done, just click OK. And then you can watch the lower right corner and jobs one will turn to job zero when it's done. So at this point, our book has been converted and we're ready to import it into iTunes, which is what we'll do in the next video.